When I first went to jail, I was an 18 year old kid who'd never been locked up before, so I didn't know any of the language or lingo, and a lot of times I didn't understand what guys were talking about in a conversation. I remember one guy saying, yeah, I sent my Cody a kite and I told him this and that. No idea what he was talking about. I was too prideful and too young to ask. Finally, I figured out he was saying, yeah, I sent my co-defendant a note or a message. Because back in the jail, a kite was a message. I think this came from the idea that you would take the paper or take whatever you're sending it in, connect it to a string, so that way when you were sliding it from cell block to cell block or from cell to the cell, if you were in the hole, you could pull it back if you missed or he could attach some kind of response and then you could pull that back. So this thing looks like a kite, like you would throw it up in the air and it would fly away, but instead it's just the way we communicate. Now when I got to prison, I was even more confused because I had counselors and different people saying, yeah, just send me a kite, let me know what you need, like we'll, we'll stay in touch. I'm like, bro, am I supposed to like send that over there? What they called the request forms, they actually called them kites at the first place I was at. So it went from lingo being used by people in the jail to on the actual form used by the institution until they standardized those forms statewide and made them request forms. 